Wednesday, Stampin' Friends. We've got another fun What's She Making video today. And we're gonna be using the Trucking Along stamp set and punch to make this fun, festive, Trucking Along Christmas card. All right, well, as always, I have everything pre-cut. And if you want any of these measurements, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my weekly buzz bulletin. You can sign up in the description below and you can also go to stampinqueenbee.com and sign up there. It's totally free. I send a weekly PDF tutorial with all the step-by-step -step instructions and the measurements every single Thursday. So you don't want to miss that. And I would so appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and share this video with your Stampin' Crafting uh, card making friends so that we can grow this channel. We're getting so close to the next uh, milestone of people that follow and it's so exciting. So thank you so much if you are one who already does and thank you so much for sharing this with your friends. All right, let's get started. I think we will start with some stamping first. So let me bring in our foam mat. I'm gonna bring in some real red and we're gonna be stamping tone on tone. So some real red on some real red. And we're gonna be using first the truck outline. So we're just gonna ink this up and we're gonna stamp tone on tone. Now on this one, you can see I did it kind of in straight lines. So on the one we're gonna do here, we're gonna kind of do them at a diagonal. So we're just gonna start at the top. There we go. And we're just gonna kind of shift our truck here so that it just goes all along. One more up there. So we're almost creating kind of like a background, uh, our own designer series paper. And I love the effect of the tone on tone stamping. So even though they're both real red, since they're different mediums, you can still see it. I think that looks good. You can still see it, right? And so it still shows on the red paper, but it gives us that fun background. Okay, so that's stamping part one. Stamping part two, we're gonna take a piece of crumb cake, just a scrap, and we're gonna stamp this same truck in real red, the outline, just right on our crumb cake. And then we're gonna take the inside piece of our truck so that we can color this in. I love these photopolymer stamps, these clear stamps, because we'll be able to line them up. So we're just gonna stamp it off so that we can get a lighter version. And then we're gonna line this up. And the way that I have found the easiest is to line up in the window area. So if I get that lined up, press that down, and then the coloring just goes right in to our truck. Those clear stamps are so great for that. Okay, I'm gonna close up my real red here. And we're gonna bring in some pebbled path so that we can stamp in our wheels. And so the same thing, I didn't want them too dark, so we're gonna stamp them off. And actually that was upside down. <laughs> Let's do that again. So we're gonna stamp it off, and then we're gonna line up where kind of the hubcaps would be. The two little circles. Stamp that down, there we go. And then you can see it fills in our little tires and hubcaps there. Okay, so that is our truck. So now we're gonna bring in our trucking along punch. And these were out of stock for so long, they are back. So we're excited about that, just in time. And we'll just line up our truck here, punch it out. And there we have our cute little truck, right? 
Okay, so then on this other side of the scraps here, we want to make our tree, our fun tree to put in there. So let me just go ahead and flip that over, set our truck aside. And we're gonna bring in some shaded spruce. And we've got our tree outline and we've got our tree filling in. So you can do it either way. For the tree filling in part, we're gonna ink it up in the shaded spruce. We're gonna stamp it off. And then for the tree kind of the outline part, We'll stamp that, so we'll just ink that up, line it up, and there we have our tree. So for this one, there is no punch or die, so we will just fussy cut this out. I was gonna do this ahead, but I wanted to show you my little trick. So when I fussy cut this, you want to leave a tiny bit of a border, but not, um, not a big border, right? So we're just gonna kinda go right along the outside. But sometimes I cut off the bigger part, so it's easier to work with. So we're just going right along, right along, right along, right along. And then what I like to do is I like to cut like a little tab so that when I attach this to my truck, which is what we're gonna do next, I have a little tab to be able to glue it or if you wanna put dimensions. So we're gonna use glue today. So we're just gonna put a little bit of glue just right on that little tab we created. We're gonna set that down and hold it for just a second. And then our Christmas tree is attached there to our truck, right, from behind. So that little tab just kinda of helps I found when I cut the whole thing out exactly like we stamped it, then it's kind of harder to attach, right? Okay, so we'll set those two pieces aside. And then the last thing that we're gonna stamp, I have a piece of crumb cake already cut, and we are gonna stamp our sentiment, wishing you a festive Christmas. And we're just gonna center that with real red right onto our crumb cake. So now our stamping is done. So we'll set those pieces aside and we're gonna bring in our big, our big boss. What is, what is one of my friends call it? She calls it the, the Hulk. <laughs> And we're gonna be using our embossing folder, our 3D embossing folder, the Mary Melody. So pretty, right? And so we're gonna be using that today with a piece of crumb cake. So I have that already cut. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick our crumb cake right inside of that embossing folder. You can see I just stuck it right in there. We're gonna put it on our plate number one. Since it's a 3D folder, we're gonna put plate number four. And then we're just going to turn the handle here. And run that through. My favorite part about these embossing folders is the total wow that is created when you open up that folder and the the raised part of our paper creates whatever is on that embossing folder. I love, love, love that. And normally I do that, but I wanted to just show you the process. So we have that. And so now we get to put together our card. So I have our crumb cake card base here, already cut and scored that. So we're just gonna go ahead and burnish that with our bone folder. We're gonna take our stamped real red layer here. And we're just gonna adhere that with some liquid glue. Give us that little bit of wiggle room, right? To be able to line that up and move it over if we need to. 
Now here's where some fun comes in. So we're gonna take our piece that we cut. So it's the same size as our real red there. And now we're gonna tear this. So we're just gonna kinda create this fun, no real rhyme or reason to it. Just kind of tearing at both edges. You can make it real thin or you can make it wider. So it kind of just gives that old effect. And then if you just kind of take the edges and kind of just kind of press them, just kind of finishes it a bit. There we go. So then we're gonna pop this in the middle. Make sure your notes are facing up because when I was practicing, I did it upside down. <laughs> so you wanna make sure your notes are correct. And I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals. So the reason that I changed the direction of my trucks is so you could see them a little bit more than on our first card where I just did them right across. But I wanted to be able to show you the difference. So we're just gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. ends and a few in the middle. Excuse me. It's a bit windy here today. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pop these off the backings. So easy peasy. There we go. And then we'll just center this right on. We'll take our other pieces, our truck and our sentiment. We're gonna add some dimensionals to those as well. One more there. Okay, and then I like to do my sentiment first because we're gonna line it up right with the edge there. Whoops, not upside down, huh? That won't be good. Okay, so we've got that and I just have it right lined up with the edge there. And then our truck, we can put it right next to it like I did in our first example. You can put it even kind of above, which I think that's what I'm gonna do on this one. So it's just a tiny bit over and above. So cute. I'm gonna bring in some a Wink of Stella because I really love a little bit of that glimmer, I think you can see that good, on the windows, right? Kind of like glass, and then a little bit on the tree, maybe it could be snow, just a little bit of fun, right? Just adds that little bit of extra. So we're just gonna take our Wink of Stella here. Love this, it's just a glitter pen in this back window here. And so you'll see, just adds that little bit of shine like a window. And then on the tree, I didn't do it all over, I just kind of went back and forth lightly, kind of down the middle, to just give the tree just a little bit of shine as well. And then, you know, every good card needs some bling. So I'm gonna bring in our festive pearls. I used a red in the first one, and this one I think I'm gonna use some silver. So, you can just put a few of these. Maybe down here. Okay, and there we have wishing you a festive Christmas with our super cute trucking along stamp set that also has its coordinating punch. And I love this because it really is a year round stamp set. So of course we did Christmas with the trees there's presents that could be carrying for birthdays. There's uh, this really cute planter and some trees. There's some flowers. There's palm trees. Could be summer, right? Uh, all kinds of things. Sending you sunny thoughts. Special delivery. Be a great tag. Every day is a fresh start. All kinds of fun. Love, love, love our trucking along bundle with the punch. Makes it so easy to punch that truck right out. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you again next week.